Hi there, my name is Shelley. In our first lesson on algebraic fractions, we revised factorization and we saw how important it was to recognize factors. Now, do you still remember what a factor is? Here is the definition again. A factor is a number that divides exactly into another number. Now, factorization is a very important process in the simplification of algebraic fractions. Do you still remember what simplification of a fraction means? It means to cancel out the common factors in the numerator and the denominator of the fraction. Now, simplification of fractions is a basic process you need to know. So in this lesson on algebraic fractions, we are going to continue with the simplification of fractions. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to simplify an algebraic fraction. What we've done so far in our lessons is learned how to factorize using common factors. Let's continue with a few more examples of this. Can we factorize this expression? First tell me, how many terms are there in this expression? Let me show you. The brackets Keep the a and the b together to make it one factor, a minus b. So there are two terms in the expression. Namely, the 2 multiplied by the a minus b and the c multiplied by the a minus b. And each term has the common factor a minus b. Let us compare this to a more simple example. If we had 2x plus cx. We would notice in these terms the x is our common factor so we can take it out and then x divided into 2x we are left with our 2 and x divided into cx we are left with c and we have now factorized our expression. Now we can do the same thing in our question. We can take out the common bracket a minus b. And what we're left with is, let's just show you the extra step, 2 multiplied by a minus b divided by our common factor a minus b plus c multiplied by a minus b divided by our common factor a minus b. And we should notice that our common factor is going to cancel out, those cancel out, those cancel out, and we are going to be left with 2 plus c and we have factorized our expression and can you see why we say to take out the common factor means to divide. Remember that when we factorize using common factors the number of terms in our original expression must always be the same as the number of terms in our bracket. So our original expression has two terms so let's write that two terms and if we look at our factorized form in our square bracket, we are left with two terms as well. Two terms. Now let us return to fractions and do another example. Can you simplify this one? 2 multiplied by a minus b plus c multiplied by a minus b all divided by a minus b. Be careful, you cannot cancel yet. Why not? In the numerator, you have two terms separated by a plus sign. And in the denominator, you have two terms separated by a minus sign. So you cannot cancel terms. But you can see that the numerator can be factorized. You can take out the common bracket. I've already shown you how to do this in the previous example. Firstly, let's factorize the numerator. So we take out our common a minus b. And then we are going to be left with 2 plus c, all divided by a minus b. Now what we can do is write the denominator into a bracket to make it one factor. And then we can rewrite this as a minus b divided by a minus b multiplied by 2 plus c divided by 1 
And as we can notice, the A minus Bs will cancel out and we are left with 2 plus C. Let's try another similar one. 2 multiplied by A minus B plus C multiplied by A minus B all divided by C plus 2. Again, we must firstly factorize the numerator. So we take out our common A minus B. And then in our brackets, we're going to be left with 2 plus C. And this is all divided by C plus 2. Now, do you remember what we should do with our denominator? We put the two terms in the denominator in a bracket to make it one factor. And now we can rewrite this as 2 plus C divided by C plus 2 multiplied by A minus B divided by 1. And you should notice that 2 plus C and C plus 2 are common factors, even though they look a bit different. So those cancel out and we get 1 multiplied by A minus B, which we are left with A minus B. And as you can see, we have simplified the fraction. You can see that it's now written in a much simpler form. And remember, this simplified form has the same value as the original expression. They are equivalents. We have time for one last example. Help me factorize this one. a squared minus a plus ab minus b. Now note, there are four terms here. When you have four terms, you must always try to group them together first to see if there may be a common bracket hidden somewhere. I'm going to give you a hint. I want to put the first two and the last two in brackets. Would it be right to put in brackets here? No, then I would be multiplying. I cannot just change terms into factors just like that. What I want to do is group the first two terms in a bracket and group the last two terms in a bracket and still have that plus sign in between. Now with this grouping, let's check to see if there's a common factor. We need to factorize each term first. Over here, notice we have a common factor A. So we can take it out. A into A squared, we're going to be left with A, minus A into A, we are left with a one. Put our plus sign in. Over here now, we have a common factor B, so we take it out. Then B into AB, we're left with A minus B into B, we're left with our 1. Now let's see if we have a common factor in these two terms. Yes, we do have a common factor. Our bracket, the A minus 1, is common to both terms. So we can factorize this even further. We take out our common A minus 1. A minus 1 into our first term, we are going to be left with A a minus 1 into our second term, we are going to be left with b. So can you see our expression with four terms originally is now ending up with an expression with two factors. Let's now apply what we've just learned. Simplify this fraction. a squared minus a plus ab minus b all divided by 2a minus 2. Now from the example we have just done, we can see that we can factorize our numerator. Notice we have our four terms, and what we did last time was we grouped them. After we grouped them, we took out a common factor in the first bracket, a common factor in the second bracket, and when we saw that we had a common factor, we took it out. So if you remember, we were left with a minus 1, our common factor, and then a plus b. And that was all divided by our denominator. But notice in this situation, we can factorize our denominator. In those two terms, we have a common factor. 2 is our common factor, so we take it out. 2 into 2a, we are going to be left with a. 2 into 2, we are going to be left with a 1. Now that we have factorized our numerator and our denominator, let's look for common factors. We have the common factors a minus 1, so we can rewrite this as a minus 1 
divided by a minus 1, multiplied by a plus b, divided by 2, and notice our common factors cancel out, and we are going to be left with a plus b, all divided by 2. Well, that's all for this lesson. In this lesson, we looked at the simplification of fractions once again, and we saw how to simplify fractions by cancelling our common factors. Now it's time for you to do some on your own. Simplify the following fractions. 3 minus p divided by 3p, and z plus rz divided by r plus 1. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to simplify fractions. Remember, you can only cancel factors. And in order to cancel factors, you first need to factorize our numerator and our denominator of our fraction.